Let us start. First off, choose what kind of clothes you'll wear. Good choice. What colour do you want to be? Welcome to Peppa Pig's Town. You'll have a lot of fun here. We're going to meet Peppa in a moment, but first, let's try walking. Use the stick to move around. What a nice flower. Why don't you get close to it? Now press a button to touch it. Remember to use this button when it appears on the screen. The butterfly is flying away. Let's follow it. What's that? There's a fence blocking the way. Not to worry, you can use the same button to open the gate. Sometimes you will need to move things out of the way to keep going. Remember to use this button when it appears on the screen. Oh, hello! Welcome to the town! Where are you going, little one? To talk to Miss Rabbit, walk up to her and press the action button. Are you going to see Peppa? She's just up the hill. Keep walking and you'll be there in a minute. Bye now. Well done. You've learned how to move around in Peppa Pig's town. If you keep walking, you can meet Peppa. My friend Peppa Pig. A new friend has come to visit Peppa. How exciting. <laughs> oh, goody, you're here. Welcome. We're going to have a lovely time. You're here, you're here. We're going to have the best day ever. Why don't we say hello to him? What are you doing, George? Dinosaur! <laughs> Mr Potato! Do you like Mr Potato? Pepper does. that, George? You've lost Mr. Dinosaur. Don't worry, I'm sure it hasn't gone far. Could you have left it outside? George and Pepper need your help to find Mr. Dinosaur. He must be somewhere nearby. We will find it! We're good at finding things! Dinosaur! I can see it. It's stuck in that tree next to the muddy puddle. Let's see if we can get it down. It seems that Mr Dinosaur is very high up in the tree. Perhaps they could use the help of someone taller. in the tree? <laughs> How did it ever get there? Let's take a look. Hmm. Perhaps instead of trying to reach it, 
it will be easier to make him come down to us. And how are we going to do that, Daddy? Dinosaur. Well, I'm a bit of an expert in these things. <laughs> as simple as that. It worked. Thank you, Daddy. I didn't know dinosaurs could climb trees. Dinosaur. <laughs> Good job. George got Mr. Dinosaur back and everyone is having a great time. Back home. Daddy, Daddy! We're having lots of fun. That's great, Pepper. Look who's here, George. <laughs> Let's go this way. Mummy Pig, have you seen my glasses? I can't find them anywhere. I don't think I have, Daddy Pig. Peppa, why don't you and your new friend look for Daddy Pig's glasses? They have to be somewhere around the house. Yes, yes, Mummy! We will find the glasses! <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, we found them! We found the glasses! Have you? That's great, Pepper. Thank you. And thank you. You are a great friend to Pepper. Granny and Grandpa. The house is just ahead. Let's keep walking this way. You have arrived at the playgroup, a place to learn and play with Pepper and her friends. What's that? Why is the branch moving? Maybe the tree is saying hello to us. Hello, Mr. Tree. Please don't say hello, silly. Tiddles the tortoise! Tiddles the tortoise? What's he doing up the tree? We need to get him down. Dr Hamster will be so worried that he's missing. Yes, but how do we do that? It's too high up. Let's get Madame Gazelle. She'll know what to do. Madame Gazelle will know what to do to get Tiddles the tortoise back down from the tree. Let's find her in the classroom. Tiddles 
We need to do something. Hang on, Tiddles! We're going to get you down in no time. Oh, impossible. It's too high for me. Pepper, why don't you and your friend go and find me a ladder so I can climb up the tree and rescue Tiddles? There's a ladder right outside the playgroup. Help Pepper find the ladder so Madame Gazelle can use it to get Tiddles down. Let's go this way. Here it is. This is the ladder Madame Gazelle was talking about. You found it. Good job. Oh, here you are, Tiddles. Let's get you down, shall we? <laughs> There you go, Tiddles. No more climbing today. Hooray! I'll call Dr. Hamster and tell her Tiddles is safe. Thank you all. You did a wonderful job. Now, let's make sure Tiddles doesn't climb up again. Tiddles? Gone again? Oh, Tiddles. <laughs> Good job. Now Tiddles is safe and everyone is having a great time. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bull. What is going on here? Hello, family. Hello, children. We are in the middle of doing some repairs on this road. What happened to the old road? There were some bumps caused by the tree's roots nearby, which made it dangerous to drive through. Not to worry. Mr. Rhinoceros and I will take care of it. Oh, we won't delay you any longer. You must be busy. Uh, is there a way to go through? Oh, yes. You can drive right by the road. Be careful. We will. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Goodbye, Mr. Rhinoceros. Thank you for fixing the road. Welcome, welcome. Are you here to join me on the trip to the moon? Jump aboard the rocket train. Mr. Rabbit is the tour guide. He knows a lot about the universe. Are we really going to the moon? No, Pepper. It's just pretend. That's right, Pepper. It's just a pretend moon. Now, all passengers, hold on tight to your seats. We're about to take off. Three, two, one, blast off. All right then, does anybody know what these things hanging from the ceiling are? Are they planets? Precisely. And do you know the name of the planets? Oh, um, not really. Oh, I know one, the Earth. Very good, Daddy Pig. This is the Earth, we also have Venus. Mars, Neptune. What's that? Ah, this is a satellite. Satellites fly around the world so we can have TVs and the internet. Really? But how do they do that? It's all magic. And we've reached the end. Please exit the rocket and continue to the next room where you will see the moon. Welcome to the moon. Gravity on the moon is much weaker, so we can jump much higher.
Let's go this way. It's a wonderful day to get some good views from up in the hot air balloon. Yes, please. Oh my, there's rubbish everywhere. Perhaps you should help Pepper clean the forest. Oh no, there's rubbish on the ground. We should put it in the rubbish bin. Got one. Well done. If we all do our part, it's easy to keep the forest clean. Whose tracks are these? If we follow them, we'll find out. to have a lovely picnic in the forest. <laughs> what a wonderful day to have a picnic in the forest. Come on, let's find a nice spot to sit down and have lunch. How about we go that way? This place seems about right, doesn't it? Can I have the basket, Daddy Pig? Oh, um, yes, of course. What's wrong, Daddy Pig? Your face has gone very red. I, um, I think I have left the picnic basket in the car. Oh, no. We will have to go and get it then. Perhaps you and Peppa could head back to the car and bring the basket. Of course, Mummy. We'll be back in no time. Daddy Pig has left the picnic basket in the car. They need you to go back and get it for them. Let's go back to the car and get the picnic basket. Basket. It smells delicious. Thank you, you two. Let's all take a seat now. Oops. I guess I'm a bit hungry. <laughs> Good job. You brought the picnic basket back. And now Peppa's family can enjoy a delicious lunch in the forest. 
this goes here, this goes there, and voila! <laughs> <laughs> These sandwiches are delicious, Daddy Pig. Yes, Daddy! Why, thank you. How about you? Do you like them? What was that? Ducks! What are you doing here? Are you hungry too? <coughs> Mummy, can we give them some food? We could, but it seems there's only Daddy's sandwich left. Oh. Daddy, Daddy! We have to give them some food! Oh, <laughs> all right. There you go, ducks. I'm full! Well, at least someone is. <laughs> oh, Daddy, you're always a bit Lovely spot for camping. Ah, Peppa, I see you and your friend are already here. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. Hello, Hello Peppa's, Peppa's friend. friend. Hello, everybody. Children, children, now that we're here, you need to pitch your tents. And we need someone to collect sticks for the campfire. We'll do it, Madame Gazelle. We'll collect the sticks. Madame Gazelle has asked you to collect sticks so she can build a campfire. Follow Pepper and help her get enough sticks for the campfire. Sticks, sticks, sticks. We need to collect lots of sticks. Got one. I need a few more sticks. Would you get them for me? It's a wonderful day to get some good views from up in the hot air balloon. Yes, please! wants to build a snowman. You will find all the parts you need in the snow. <laughs> Over there, look! We can use that bit for a face. 
I think these will be good for you. Be careful. Don't go down the hill too fast. Have fun. I'm right behind you. <laughs> It's a wonderful day to get some good views from up in the hot air balloon. Yes, please! Ah, there you are. Pepper, we're taking you and your friends to Windy Castle. Windy Castle has a very tall tower. We'll get a view of the whole town. You'll see. Hooray! Dinosaur! No, George, I'm afraid there are no dinosaurs up there. Dinosaur! But you can take Mr. Dinosaur with you. All right, then. Why don't you two go and wait for us in the car while we finish getting ready? Yes, Daddy. We'll go there right away. Let's go to the car. Daddy will drive us to Windy Castle. Hello, Mr. Bull. What's going on here? Hello, family. Hello, children. We are in the middle of doing some repairs on this road. What happened to the old road? There were some bumps caused by the tree's roots nearby, which made it dangerous to drive through. Not to worry. Mr. Rhinoceros and I will take care of it. I'm sure you're very busy. We'd better be on our way. Hmm. Is there a way to go through? Oh, yes. 
You can drive right by the road. Be careful. Oh, I see. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Goodbye, Mr. Rhinoceros. Thank you for fixing the road. You have arrived with Pepper and her family at Windy Castle. Wow! I've never seen such a big castle. Come on, let's go inside. The view from the top is amazing. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Looking through the telescope makes everything seem closer. Why don't you take some time to look around? Do you recognize this? It's our house. Oh, yes, Daddy. I can see my bedroom window from here. That looks like Granny and Grandpa's house. And look, Granny and Grandpa are outside. Do you think they can see us? <laughs> I don't think so, Peppa. We are very far away from them. Oh! Today would be a perfect day to go to the beach. Look, look! I can see Miss Rabbit in her hot air balloon. She must be waiting to take someone to Snowy Mountain. We found the museum! I love the museum. Dinosaur. <sighs> And there's Snowy Mountain. The view is fantastic. But it seems to be very cold up there. The playgroup. No one's there, though, because it's not playgroup time. Potato City. Can we go, Mummy, please? Of course. Not now, though. We're enjoying Windy Castle today. Mummy! Daddy! Can we come back to Windy Castle soon? Of course, Peppa. I'm glad you had a good time looking through the telescope. I knew you would love it. Windy Castle is a lot of fun. Using the telescope from the top, you can spot many places. Even some that are very far away. Parents' house. This is my granny and grandpa's house. Grandpa is always in his garden, and granny takes care of the chickens. This is granny and grandpa Pig's house. Pepper always has a great time here. Polly Parrot imitates everything you do. Why don't you try jumping or making a sound? around here? Yes, Granny. She just left. Oh, my. That 
That won't do at all. Peppa, can you and your friend help me find the missing chickens? I don't think they will have gone very far. Yes, yes, Granny. We will find them. It seems Granny's chickens have left their coop. Why don't you help her by bringing all of the chickens back? Two more chickens left. I see a chicken. There's still one chicken missing. <laughs> that was the last one. All of the chickens are safe and sound now, thanks to you. We have arrived. But, Grandpa, Granny, where is all the sand? Well, this is a rocky beach. So instead of sand, it's full of rocks. Oh, we wanted to build sand castles. What are we going to do? Don't worry. There are plenty of fun things to do on this rocky beach. If you look around, you will find pools of water between the rocks. It's fun to see what's in them. That's right. When the sea goes out, it always leaves behind something special in the rock pools. Lily, what kind of things are we going to find? Why don't you and your friend have a look in the rock pools and put what you find in the bucket? Take a look in the rock pools on the beach and show Granny and Grandpa Pig the things you find. Look, I have found something very shiny. It's a coin. Perhaps it once belonged to a pirate. Whoa! I love pirates. love to hide in rock pools. Be careful not to get your finger pinched. Oh, no. Don't be a naughty crab. <gasps> a seashell! And it's a really big one. Did you know that if you put a shell to your ear, you can hear the sea? Really? Whoa. Congratulations! You have found all the things in the rock pools and have learned a lot about rocky beaches. Hello, Mr. Pool. What is going on here? Hello, family! Hello, children! We are in the middle of doing some repairs on this road. What happened to the old road? There were some bumps caused by the tree's roots nearby, which made it dangerous to drive through. Not to worry. 
Mr. Rhinoceros and I will take care of it. We'll let you get on with it. Is there a way to go through? Ho oh, ho, yes! You can drive right by the road. Be careful. Okay. Thank you very much. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Goodbye, Mr. Rhinoceros. Thank you for fixing the road. Grandparents' house. This is Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Pepper always has a great time here. Pepper, you and your friend have been very busy, haven't you? We've heard you've been helping people around the town. Yes! My friend is very helpful. I see. Well, so are you, Pepper. And because you've been so good, we've decided to take you both to Potato City. I love Potato City! Oh, Potato City, here we come. Daddy Pig? Didn't you get a bit dizzy last time you got on the potato rocket? Yes. Well, I'm sure it won't happen this time. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you never learn. Potato City is a magical place full of exciting things where Mr. Potato himself will teach you the importance of vegetables. Go to the car when you're ready and we'll be on our way. Hello, Mr. Bull. What's going on here? Hello, family. Hello, children. We are in the middle of doing some repairs on this road. What happened to the old road? There were some bumps caused by the tree's roots nearby, which made it dangerous to drive through. Not to worry. Mr. Rhinoceros and I will take care of it. I'm sure you're very busy. We'd better be on our way. Hmm. Is there a way to go through? Ho oh, ho, yes! You can drive right by the road. Be careful. Oh, I see. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Goodbye, Mr. Rhinoceros. Thank you for fixing the road. Potato City, the place to explore and have fun, and learn about the importance of vegetables. Hooray! Ah, we're finally here. It's bigger than I remembered. Hello and welcome to Potato City! Have you come to have fun? Yes, yes! Have you come to explore? Yes, yes! Have you come to learn about the importance of eating fruit and vegetables at least five times a day? Um, yes? Fantastic! Then you are going to have a lot of fun! Remember to visit the whole park! There are plenty of things to do and plenty of things to see! All right then, run along children, have fun. <laughs>
Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments section what you thought about it below. Check the links in the description and you can pick which platforms to follow me on. If you're new around here, how about subscribing and clicking the notification bell as I put out new videos every single day. I've been Victor the Dragon and I'll speak to you soon.